Hi everyone and welcome to another Decorate With Us video. Today I'm going to be resetting my back porch. It's going to be in black and white with floral spring elements. So without further ado, let's hop right in. So here's the back porch kind of with everything taken down. You will see elements I'm going to be using sitting on either side of my couch. And I'm going to start off with taking this vase that I actually borrowed from my mom. And it's got this kind of basket weave on it. If I turn it around, it's got a heart with roses, which I may use in future decorations with it facing that way. But for now, I'm going to turn it backwards. And then I have these faux but they're like a real touch tulip that I got on Amazon. I will link them down below. They are amazing. They really do feel and look real. And then I've got the black and white bunny that I used in my Easter decor. And I'm going to go ahead and put him right in front of the vase. Now for us, bunnies are spring. In fact, if I look out my window, I have bunnies running around right now. So I use bunnies throughout my spring decor. Then I'm bringing in the same urn that I've been using, which is actually an urn that had a flower arrangement at my dad's celebration of life. And I'm going to take this tulip that's faux also, but it's like a potted up tulip, and I cut the paper off so that it wouldn't be sticking up out of the top. And I'm going to drop it down in there, like so. And because you're never really close up on this, I'm not going to worry about filling in the top with anything. I have to kind of climb to get in there. And then the same pillar candle holder that I used in my last decor video. And I'm just going to put a battery operated candle there. And I also got that on Amazon, so I will link it down below. And then I'm going to put the same bunny that I already had here back in. So pretty much I just toned it down, added in some white flowers instead of all the colorful flowers and left this end the same. And then I've got this little hobnail basket that's actually my mom's. I borrowed it. I believe it's Bentonware, just like the hobnail ashtrays that I have. And I just put some little picks in there that have some little white flowers and kind of a bright limey green color, almost like a baby's breath or an Alyssa me looking. More like a lissom looking pick. going to take this hop on in pillow and I do realize it has eggs on it but it also has bunnies and tulips so I'm just going to turn it backwards on the couch and then I'm leaving my buffalo check pillows out also on the center table I'm just going to put the mirror back that I've been using in all of my arrangements here and then I've got the faux white tulips from Amazon and the black vase and I'm going to set that here like so and then I'm going to bring in my bird that I've shown in some other videos he does light up but I don't currently have batteries for him and I'm just going to place him here in front And then this candle holder that I've been using in all my arrangements here. And a Yankee candle. This is Jack Frost. And it's kind of like a vanilla, but it's also got a minty tone to it. I absolutely love it. And I'm just going to turn it backwards so you can't see the label and drop it down in here. I do prefer the shorter version of the jar candles in this candle holder, but this is what I have right now. So that's what I'm going to use. And then the last element over here, these are actually my rain boots and they have these pretty peony flowers on them and they're black and white and gray. 
I'm going to set them over here by the fireplace like they got all wet and they have to dry out. But I am going to add some flowers into them. So I found these branches at Joann's for 50% off. And I'm going to put one bundle in each boot. When moving right along over here on my tea card, I already set this area up. And we're going to be having chef salad for dinner tonight. So I'm serving dinner here. I've got my salad bowl and then I've got all these ramekins with a gravy boat. The ramekins I'm going to put our toppings in and then the gravy boat will hold our ranch dressing. And it has gotten dark out. So here's a view of everything at night. And then here's a pretty simple romantic candlelit tablescape. So I've got the same plates that I normally use, but instead of the top dessert plate, I stacked in this pasta bowl that we'll be using for the salad. And then we only need a fork. And then the little plates are for bread. I have these candle holders, which every candle holder on the table came from the Dollar Tree. And then these black and white anemones that I just got from either Michael's or Joann's with a black vase that my husband gave me. And then take a closer look at the candle holders over here. These white candles I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm actually loving this shorter um, style candle that's thicker in the holders. And then the napkins I just folded in half like a hot dog and accordion folded and carefully tuck them down inside the champagne flutes. Now I have all the candles lit, so I'll take you on a short tour. our chef salad bar all set up I didn't realize I have to cut a tag off still but it's getting really late it's like nine o'clock and we still need to eat dinner so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up that in the morning but you can see here I have ham and turkey and roast beef and hard-boiled eggs cheese fresh bacon bits ranch croutons and our salad and here's my cute little gnome with some pretty spring floral picks and another white candle. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you're having a great day. Stay tuned. Tomorrow I have another fun spring tablescape coming your way.